The Bledisloe Cup had by now become synonymous with the extraordinary. Just a few weeks later, yet another dramatic chapter was written. With time up on the clock, the fate of the Bledisloe Cup would come down to a last penalty shot at goal. The problem for the Australians was their goal kicker was off the field. We got the penalty and I thought, wow, this is fantastic. Where's Sterling? And I look around and yeah, Sterling's not there. And Jeremy Paul it was came up to me and said, mate, Sterling's off. It's your kick. Here's a chance. It's their last one. Larkin. And he puts it out. Jonathan Kaplan has a look at the watch. Still time remaining. <laughs> You've got to laugh. Even Jonathan Kaplan has a smile on his face. Everybody's screaming with a full-time whistle, except the referee, and he is the sole judge of time. The biggest line-out throw of the series. Josh Cronfeld's on his feet. He's on the sideline. Let's make sure the ball goes in, OK? Ball in first. The heat is on. They go short. Australia. And it's with the Wallabies. Pervitz. Got to be careful here about the penalty. Jim Williams takes it in. Now, Joe Ruff tries to go past Cullen. Oh, there, there's the penalty. There's the penalty. I think he was relieved to say that, John. He was going to have a shot, thank you. Well, that was interesting because the ball was actually swiffered forward by the Australian player and looked like it was going to be a turnover. And I just wonder what the referee's decision was on the penalty. However, it's history now. How about this for stepping up to the mark? John Eels is going to take the kick himself. Well, he has to because Sterling Mortlock's off the field and I guess he's the only other goal kicker, recognised goal kicker. Joe Roth, perhaps, on occasions. Well, here it is. The last two lineouts. New Zealand throws the win by Australia. This kick will decide the fate of the Blenners Cup. Well, they're a great team, and it's been a great victory, no doubt about it. Well, John Eels, the pressure, the ability to concentrate, and he just kicked it straight through the centre. Have a look at him. He's delighted, and he's been a mighty man in this game. As I said, they won the last two lineouts on the uh, As a player, they're the moments you train for. They're the moments as, as a kid in the backyard. You, I kicked 100 of those as a kid in the backyard trying to win a test for Australia. This kick will decide the fate of the Benners Cup. What a player, John Eels! And I'm very, very glad it went over because I think my life and people's memories of me as a rugby player would have been very different if I had missed that kick. It would have been, oh, you're the bloke that missed that kick in that, uh, that cost us the Bledisloe Cup and the Tri-Nations, aren't you? And, you know, it could have easily been like...